Al Jazeera and the mainstream media are tools in Hamas's war against Israel. Journalists are expressing their outrage that the 12-story Al Jala building housing, the Gaza headquarters of Associated Press in Al Jazeera, was targeted during retaliatory Israeli airstrikes on Saturday. Al Jazeera Jerusalem bureau chief Walid Al-Omari said that by striking the building, Israel was acting not only to sow destruction and killing, but also to silence those who broadcast it, not exactly an objective assessment. AP CEO Gary Pruitt released a statement expressing that the world's largest news syndication service was shocked and horrified by the strike. Meanwhile, Hamas was using the building as an intelligence and operations center. Senior advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Aaron Klein, told JNS that it is Hamas that must be condemned for housing its terrorist infrastructure in the same complex as the international media. This is far from the first time that Hamas has used journalists as human shields, it is a procedure that no other army in the world would dare undertake, as it gives additional time to the enemy to continue firing rockets at population centers. It is also a practice that is not featured prominently in mainstream media coverage. In a statement, Netanyahu said that, as always, Israel is doing everything possible to protect our civilians and keep Palestinian civilians out of harm's way. We demonstrated this yet again, yesterday, when we warned civilians to vacate the building used by the Hamas terror intelligence. They vacated the premises before the target was destroyed, and that's why you don't hear of casualties from these collapsing terror towers because we take special care to avoid these civilian casualties, exactly the opposite of Hamas.